good morning and welcome to Art Through a Lens. Um, I'm in lockdown still and I've been on a 10 days isolation as well. Um, so I've been a bit bored, I haven't been able to get out whatsoever. Um, so today I've just gone through some old pictures, this is from a, a couple of, well two or three months ago I think. Um, I'm, got, I'm gonna try and not waffle on as well in this video because I know I do waffle on but I always think to myself, I don't want to just be silent in my video you know uh, but sometimes obviously if I am it's only because I'm concentrating and things like that instead of waffling on in your ear roll okay so this is a horse there was a couple um, but I didn't like the man on his, his horse um, I didn't I didn't like the look of him it, it didn't look right it didn't sit right on the horse so I only wanted uh, the girl on this horse because she sat properly and upright and it looked really, you know, like she should be in a show of some kind with this horse. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. But I also love this here. Um, this is what I was trying to first picture, but it didn't end up like I first saw it in my mind at all. Uh, but without the horse, that would have been a pretty boring shot. Uh, and I'm not usually one for doing animals or anything like that. I've never done one before as well. So I'm gonna just crack on. And I'm just going to show you um, by adding textures just to see because I've no idea, I've no clue whatsoever if I can actually change this at all. Uh, so bear with me, okay? So all I've done really is uploaded it to Lightroom uh, and I've just, uh, you know, made the highlights higher and exposure higher. Just so I've got more of a contrast look and it's bright before I, I start applying heavy textures over this. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my textures library. From last week I showed you how to put your textures in there and uh, my textures um, everybody's commenting on my texture bundles at the moment and um, giving me great ideas as well on any future ones that I'm making on the colors that are uh, really selling the pastel selections uh, are really good and the vibrant colors are really good as well so it's like a mixture of both you know so um, yeah so anyway I'll crack on what's my latest texture the Aztec one so I've made my cursor big. I don't know if it comes across big on screen on the recording, but I noticed on my last video as well, I do apologize that it wasn't actually um, showing my cursor. And I don't know if it's um, since rendering it in the video and adding bits into the video that it actually disappeared. So, uh, but we'll see. So we're gonna drag, let's go just for anything. Cause you never know until you try, do you? So. Let's just go for it today. Let's all be enthusiastic. Let's all teach each other. Be motivated by something. Change your images. Shove a texture over it. And see what we get. You see, I, I love things straight away. See, I'm having that. I'm not going any further. I'm going to just add a new layer mask. Go on to brush. Click the brush. I'm still on a pen dropper. there you go I think my pen's running out and then I just don't want it over the horse there so just remove it where you don't want it I sound like Bob Ross the painter happy accidents and all that <laughs> so you just uh, keep creating I like that I don't want to take any more off that because I think it's absolutely lush so let's go into something else let's see if there's anything let's go on to that one drag it over simple and easy click the tick at the top go on to your blend modes scroll down your blend modes see if there's anything at all that takes your fancy if you want it a pastel look if you want it deeper colours, it all depends on again what you're looking for. So I don't want that one, it doesn't do anything for that image. Drag it down into the bin. Okay, and then do another one. Let's see. I don't know what this I'm spoiled for choice now making these textures. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'll make it harder for myself so drag that up and over your image or you could just place a section where you want that uh, as well 
it doesn't have to be dragged over the whole image but I like to down the blend modes again I do like that I might just take it slightly off the horse I think let's have a look because I, I like the actual look of the texture now over the horse and rider so we'll see what it looks like just zoom in for you so you can see make your brush small i've got opacity and my flow low down as well just so you can take it off where you don't want it i want to keep some on but i want to still highlight all right it's a, a rider on a horse but any heavy texture that you see I might just increase my opacity my pen is definitely running out 39 45 let's see I'll just take off where you don't want it leave it on where you do want it and it's simple as like his socks show still so you can see a bit there just take your time take it off where you don't want it okay zoom back out see how that's looking yes yeah, so I'm liking that really liking that I don't know if to decrease the green a little bit so click on your um, your texture the green texture and then click the adjustment layer there the circle Hue saturation I just want it to uh, change the color of that texture so you'd press on the clipping mask there so then the, the saturation should just get reduced on that only you can even change color as well of that if you wanted to just by going along that and just choose a color that you think complements your image I'm going to stick with it in that section you can also lighten that texture or darken the texture okay minus two i'm going to leave that up okay so again back to my textures and let's scroll up again let's go for this one let's see what this one does beautiful crackle in this one I love the, the pastel shades so many images you can actually create from the pastel look especially like the, the like woodland or simplified uh, images like a lone tree or a boat on its own um, it's endless really what you can actually achieve look at that it's brought a little bit of colour just into the sky area just on darken so just scroll down again see if there's anything that really takes your eye how pastel is that that's lovely isn't it that's really pastel -y. I wish I loved pastels as much you know because I do like looking at them I always end up going too heavy sometimes if you click it and then you click on and off just to see if it's making the, it look like the sunlight is hitting the beach and the horse with that one. So I'm going to try that one, stick with that one. 
And let's go mad and try something else. Let's go for this one. I've used this a couple of times. It's a really good one because I love the texture and the concrete paint effect that I wanted. I'd like that dark area up into the sky. So I'd rotate 90 degrees clockwise by right clicking. And then it turns it. Okay. So I always click on the, the texture and inside the box and you can choose whatever you want to do in there okay and when you're happy press the tick button and go back again to your blend modes as you all know now <laughs> it's the same old thing isn't it just try something it's all about the eye really um, it's not just all about applying your textures it's all about what you see and what imagination that you've got um, and if you're scared of trying anything You've got to try you've got to give it a go you've got to be enthusiastic you've got to think positive and just there's nothing you know it's, it's just an image absolutely just an image so I don't know I do I do like it but let's just reduce the fill I want something to balance the the darkness at the bottom so because it's dark here it was too light up here I mean you could be happy with that that's fine that's no problem at all but I just wanted to balance it out a little bit but there's also areas of that I don't like as well so I'm going to just reduce this section a bit too heavy reduce that Twenty-five, and just slightly just take that away and just smooth out those edges there that's all I do just take it out like you would a cloud just blend it in Even squint, you know, squint with both your eyes and just look away a little bit. See if it's if it's looking too dark and too patchy. Okay. Just quick swoop just to lighten that, just to blend in a little bit more. There you go. And a bit on there. It's your painting, it's your piece of art. You do whatever you want to. As long as you're happy with it. And that is the main thing. That's the main thing we're looking for. Let's try something totally different here. I don't know what I'm going for. I don't know which way to have it. Let's have a look. I might rotate clockwise again. Looks like it could be an horizon line. Let's see if it does anything or not. I'll probably end up chucking this one in the bin, I think. But we'll see. Oh, well, you never know. You, you never know. It's always worth a shot. Always worth just dragging it over and having a look. If there's anything, does it actually give me anything on there? Oh, it gives me lots of textures, doesn't it? I don't know. I think it's too much. So drag it to the bin. Drag it down there. Don't want it. Let's go looking for something else let's have a look i've got too many textures now see i love this because this seems to frame the image this is isn't in just the blues collection this one this is my just the blues collection and i made it so it's like a, a beam of light in a frame coming so this is gorgeous for framing anything really flowers in a vase person walking in a wood um, that would be a nice one actually person walking in a wood what well, I might actually think of a future image there you see what I mean it, it just frames that picture and I love that 
You see, it only takes one texture. Well, not one, obviously, because I've, I've put quite a few on there. But to finish it off. I did like multiply. I liked that. Just reduce the fill a little bit. And then go on a new layer mask. So it's white there. We're choosing black. And I just want to zoom in again. Which is hidden by a lot of that texture. But I love the framing um, side of things. So I just want to bring those out again. Make the horse and the rider stand out more. I've got a tablet and a pen, and I didn't use to um, use these. I used to just did it with a cursor, and it is um, a lot easier. You've got more control over um, your pen tool. It is like you're just actually. Um, drawing on a piece of paper in your hat your art pad so it is absolutely more control if you were good at colouring in colouring in books you'd be awesome getting a tablet mine's not an expensive tablet either you don't need anything expensive or a big branded name one you just you know it does all the same all the same so I'll just keep going over that area it's not too harsh when you just do it low on opacity You can just see how that stands out a lot more now. Just make it like a thumbnail size. Gives you a better idea. That's lovely, isn't it? It just looks like the sunlight is just coming through. But what I'm going to try and do as well, I'm going to just make... Um, a new layer so it's checkerboard there and um, just get the right name for it if I can I always forget the names of things create a new layer so that is a new layer the checkerboard one and what I'm going to do I'm just going to try and direct some more light going towards the horse so I'm going to choose just a bright yellowy white okay it might not work but you never know if you don't try your brush tool low opacity low flow make it big so you don't end up with a line and just one sweep from the left hand side to there just one sweep you can go again if you want and it's just adding sunlight and again same with your textures because you've added that brush you don't have to leave it like that that's not how it's going to look you can go down your blend modes even with that color that you've just applied just to see if it shows a difference of it capturing any light so say for instance soft light look at before the light was added and then now it does cast that light and again I want my horse to stand out so you add a new uh, new layer there layer mask and make your brush smaller than it is and then take away some again from the the rider on the horse and that will deepen the colors again there 
So I, I do like that contrast. I do like them to to stand out. I'm just taking the sunlight, especially off the back of the rider, or the back of her legs. And the horse, horse's legs, horse's belly, shadow areas. A hat. Zoom back out, and I'm I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do again, as always, is I'm going to add my birds. So go into my brushes and find my birds somewhere. I can never find them. Really can't. I've gone onto the this big cursor. Sometimes it's not working, so I might have to um, look at the settings on this. Because it doesn't seem to drag now. Okay. I only want some small birds. Need to be in the 80s. Anywhere in the 80s will do on both the opacity and the flow. You can always reduce that ear as well if it's too heavy once you've applied it. Put those down. I'm not sure if I like all those birds. Let's have a look further away. No, control Z if you don't like it, try another one. Make them smaller if you want to, across the further away in the distance. Put them to one side more, maybe coming into the light. Don't like that one either. Sometimes the hardest thing is to find your birds. <laughs> That's a nicer pattern. It's all about what you want. So that's, that's a little bit better. So here, I'm going to reduce it again. Just make it, because it's a pastel -y feel. You don't want heavy, dark birds there. Yep, yeah, I think I'm going to just stick that up a little bit there. Put that back up. I'm having a problem with my mouse today. You always get those days, don't you, when something doesn't work spot on when you're doing a video. Right, now there's some birds on there I'm going to remove because I don't want them all on. So again, new layer mask. Change from my bird brush here on the top left to the soft round brush and a small size. Don't want that one. Get rid of him there. Put your opacity up. I should be here all day scrubbing out a bird. So yeah, get rid of him. Don't like that big one there. Get rid of him. It's my canvas. <laughs> That's what I say. My canvas. Don't want him in there. Get him out. I don't like them two either there. Um, don't like that one. Cut him out as well. Don't like that one. And I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is Control Alt Shift and E, 
and that stamps them all together there. I'm going to then do Control and L, my levels. You can do this with curves as well, but I just love my levels. It just makes it pop more to me. So that's really showing the sunlight there in that region. Hitting her like that, beautiful. And that will reduce your, uh, your mid-tones as well there. So you can do that. Don't want a too light, I don't want a too dark. I want it all to come together. There you go. And then I click here on the three lines and I'm just gonna flatten the image. Flatten that image there. And let's have a look. Just have a two minute think before you go any further. Right, Control and J to make a copy. And then linear light is usually what I use. Linear light. Then go on to filter. Other. And then I pass. And this just makes it uh, sharper in places. I don't know if I need it that strong though. So I might just put that down to five. And now I want to remove it from uh, the areas I don't want the sharpness I only want to, uh, really the the horse and rider um, to be sharp so go around all your image on where you don't want it to be sharp I want people just to focus on my rider and the horse can see on there where you're going, how deep and how much texture you've taken off the high pass. I might actually try something else as well in a second because I've just had a thought it might look good. Let's make it a bit smaller just so you can get closer to the horse there. And the back of the rider. Okay. Now I'm going to merge those. Put that all together. Now I don't know if to try a blur effect. So if I go to filter, blur gallery, and go on tilt shift. Let's see. So I want my rider to be in focus. Move that up and move that down. Maybe just show a few birds. And that's your blur tool here on the right hand side. So obviously if you increase your blur that's going to make it really blurry when my mouse works again. I think I've got a dodgy mouse. So you see how that sends your image. So obviously we don't want it that. That's without any. So you can see how it looks. Just want a little bit of blur. Just a little bit. Let's put that one up as well. And that one there, just to there. And when you're happy with that, click OK. And that'll just work now on my screen. And it's just made it a little bit blurry at the top and the bottom. Just so now the real focus is definitely on that mid section there. And a few of the birds are still um, sharp as well. But some are just like wispy in the background. 
so yes that's lovely I like that so what I'm gonna do as always I am going to add my border so canvas size and then you'd go um, what number what how deep your border you want to be so I'm gonna go on five and five press the center button white border is what I'm after and press OK and that's my image and that just finishes it off the border doesn't it uh, you know because you're usually working on this grey background here and it doesn't highlight your image does like it would when it's framed and you've chosen a border to go around it so it's always good to add that and then you can see and I actually print it out with a white border on as well with my name at the, the bottom um, my company name at the bottom and also what my image is called on the left hand side and then you put your board around that as well so it gives you the edge of your print as such to fix to a proper cardboard board amount uh, before framing so I think that's really lovely it's a lovely pastel shade the horse is directly in the middle beautiful pastel colors bit of a blur effect on the top and the bottom um, and I love it so thank you again for joining me please 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 support my channel um, I love motivating and creating images for you all showing you what you can achieve from your old photographs or something that you didn't really like when you came back um, and you upload them to Lightroom or whatever software you've got and you think well it didn't look like that when I took the picture it weren't in my mind uh, what I wanted get in Photoshop get some textures apply them over your images have a play about use what you wouldn't necessarily think of actually putting on there you never know it might work like mine did you know um, you just go for it and have that vision use your imagination uh, my texture bundles um, I've got some a couple of big bundles uh, on my website so they're really great value. You're getting 40 of my textures for £20. So they'll do you forever. Uh, so that's fantastic. And my smaller bundles, they're £12 for 20 uh, textures. So with the big bundles, you're saving, I think, £4, isn't it? So um, get along to my website, view my images, give yourself, you know, uh, if you're not purchasing images, it give you some idea on what textures that can actually achieve on a photograph and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon so don't forget www.artthroughalens.co.uk and i'll see you soon i'll see you next week on the next video thank you bye bye